What's up everybody, thank you for tuning in to another YouTube video. Uh, today's video pretty much is about me joining back into the NFL well, football, um, the sport of football. As this last year, I have been doing rugby. I've loved rugby. It's been a great sport, been a great exercise and uh, just a different way of life with, with sports training and being prepared for a sport and also the community of the sport of rugby but i have this opportunity that was laid upon me this year um and i want to take full advantage of this just to pretty much say hey you know this this time around even though i did before but this time around i'm really laying it all out on the field on the at the combine um whatever it is you know, the goal is to at least make a practice squad or, or something. Um, but we have the league of the USFL. So I've been training almost twice a day, every day for, you know, ever since I got the word, um, focusing a lot on mobility, my sprinting mechanics, um, drill stuff specific. Last time I went as a running back and this time I'll be going as a linebacker as you see me doing drills right here. I'm trying to work on my uh, backpedaling um, and my hip mobility, I'm trying to stay in a straight line as I do a backpedal. Um, things like that, that I know coaches will be looking for. Um, the main thing with linebackers is how those hips, that's the first thing a coach is going to say, how those hips, you know, because when you're a linebacker, you have to be able to change directions um, quickly, still keep your balance and learn how to, um, you know, read the ball and work off of that. So a lot of the things I do now, um, which is pretty much no difference, just I don't do crazy, um, the heavy, crazy weight stuff anymore. Um, I'll still like deadlift and bench and a squat, of course, but I've added in a lot more plyometrics and mo mobility work um, as you see me doing some lateral step ups right here to focus on the drop is to help with knowing my foot position strengthen my ankles my knees uh, my glutes squads um, with that load and being able to jump back up um, and right now you see me doing the cables and what's so important about this movement right here is you're focusing on that area and the quads where it connects to the hip which is important because you have to be able to have strength to continually pull up your legs you know i think a lot of people miss this when it comes to sprint mechanics and running like you're only as strong as that hip area right there like you're only as fast as the strength um of those hip areas that can continue to push power through each each step in a sprint and you have to take care of that and i used to do these a lot back then and it just kind of died off and uh this was a great way for me to really um strengthen those areas that i'm i'm weak at you know because i mean i'm a big boy now i'm a lot bigger and um running 240 trying to you know run that 44 i need as much strength in those hip areas as i can as along with it being loose and um you see me right now doing some kind of like some power presses my jam it's like a jammers that you see you know a lot of athletes and stuff use but this is kind of like the the back row pullback machine um that I, this is how i use it with my hands in the neutral grip close uh focusing on where the linebacker's hands will be kind of on that inside um when you're trying to defend off somebody you know, set that edge um just jamming up linemen um, offensive tackles or anybody um, that's kind of going against me and um, so I'll add things in like this and to further help with the skills that I'm going to need um, for the field and then once again back to some laterals just a little bit of resistance stuff on that uh, inside foot just pressing off holding myself and then coming back doing about like five times to each side um, again you know everything is about trying to think on what's going to happen on a field 
you know that's how i go into my workouts now all right when i walk into the gym what exercises are going to help me develop better skills um to be on the field that coaches are going to be like wow you know that's this is my goal right here have the coaches be like wow this guy should have been signed five years ago you know and i wonder where he would have been now you know because that's that's how I feel, you know. I, I feel like I should have been signed at least to a practice squad years ago, and these coaches, you know, would have had a good idea of my potential um, versus just kind of like writing me off. No, I was serious. I've been serious. I've been at this for five years once again, and um, this year I'm going to give it my all, and uh, I hope I uh, don't let myself or you guys down. Oh, you went right back to black? Yeah, like okay. I went to black and then it changed. Then, yeah. Sorry. Hey, hey, you just got the haircut. You know what I'm saying? Cleaned up. Uh, now, finna head to the house, finally get something to eat. I drunk two protein shakes, 30 grams each. Um, after my, uh, well, one protein shake, 30, 30 grams, two scoops, 30 grams. So, 60 grams of protein today. Um, I got one more session later. Uh, today is a Sunday. Usually I'm on train twice a day on Sundays. It's supposed to be a rest. I'm probably gonna use a Wednesday or something coming up for a rest day. But right now, um, I'm just trying to get after it. Gotta get this work in, gotta get my flexibility, mobility, um, explosiveness, just everything I can to be more than ready for these USFL tryouts that um, I have coming up. You know, I wanna leave, you know, this is the year, I, I just wanna make sure I leave it all on the table, you know, and um, no regrets, no nothing. You know, I don't wanna be later on in my life, look back and be like, oh, I don't think I gave him my all and blah, blah. Even I, did, I didn't give him my, um, I don't think that even when I tried before, but this is like the final bout. And um, I just wanna make sure there are no flaws and I'm working on everything I can to, you know, give these coaches what they wanna see and give me the opportunity that I feel like I deserve. All right, so my entire day has been a whole whoops of dices. All I've had to eat is one of these protein bars and a Dr. Pepper, Diet Dr. Pepper. Y'all know what time it is? And two protein shakes. Y'all know what time it is? It is 5.52. It is 5.52. I came home, pulled some stuff out of my trunk, brought it upstairs, and we're packing right now, so. Yeah, I just went on a whole cleaning, literally cleaned out everything I don't need from my closet in my room, and uh, not taking, and uh, yeah, lost track of time. <laughs> the nasty old stuff. It ain't for you. We got chicken meatballs from where? Costco? Costco. Costco? Chicken what? pineapple. A hey, pineapple. Teriyaki. Is it pineapple teriyaki? Yeah. Four meatballs. Four meatballs is 14 grams of protein. That's great, right? 14 grams of protein. Eight grams of fat. 
and seven grams a couple of hydrates yeah so you know what you're gonna do we're gonna eat about 12 of these joints so that's four servings uh and uh with some rice and that's three servings 16 and uh yeah no nah, i don't want to do 16 that's, that's a lot too much. we're gonna do three servings you already know that piece of cake oven three minutes in the microwave and you got yourself some white rice <laughs> Yeah, my way. Say, for five minutes? last night but we was drunk tired so we gotta finish the next 40 minutes still got like 40 minutes left man it's like a two hour movie two hour movie 